Over the past year, I have reviewed a lot of Intel Core Ultra laptops. However, all of them were small 14-inch devices and not a full-blown 15 or 16-inch laptop. Now, you may ask, Ke, Yatnesh, what's even the difference? Well, firstly, big 15-inch laptops have more space, better cooling, more screen real estate, and in turn, are much preferred for productivity and creativity tasks. And also because of more space and better cooling, new powerful chips can really stretch their legs easily for a long duration. So keeping all that in mind, meet the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED, a brand new Thinelite laptop powered by the Intel Core Ultra 7 CPU, 16 GB LPDDR5X RAM, 1 TB SSD, and a gorgeous OLED display. And the best part is that Asus is packing all this in a chassis that's just about 1.39 cm thin and weighs just 1.5 kg. For reference, the M2 MacBook 15 measures just 1.15 cm and weighs slightly more at 1.51 kg. Chalo, enough of that. Let's take a deep look at this laptop's design, build quality, display and performance and see for ourselves ki whether this has the potential to be your next work laptop or not. In terms of design, the laptop looks really cool. The matte black color and the minimalist Asus VivoBook branding feels absolutely superb. Although this isn't my personal laptop, but if I were to own it, then I would remove all these stickers as well to give this laptop a full-fledged stealthy look. But as pretty as it looks, it isn't safe from smudges or sweat prints. Especially during this hot weather, both the palm rest areas get covered in sweat. Now, I personally have no issues with it, but it's something that you should know. But this material does feel very sturdy and almost flex-free, which is a very nice upside to it. Now, same I cannot say about the display because it does have flex in several areas, especially behind the screen. But to its credit, the display hinge feels sturdy as you can easily type furiously and the screen wobble will remain to a minimum. And speaking of typing, this is a fantastic keyboard. The keys have very good travel and an amazing spring action as well. Typing on this keyboard has a bouncy yet silent experience which is something absolutely essential in any work, productivity or business type laptop. Only the space bar over here makes a noticeable noise. Otherwise, the rest of the keyboard is almost totally silent. Another really impressive thing here is the giant touchpad. It is almost as long as the iPhone 15 Plus with way more width. And because of that, I have no trouble ditching my mouse and just using this touchpad for all my work. And speaking of work, it becomes very easy on this laptop thanks to a very healthy I/O port selection. On the right side, you get two USB Type A ports, and on the left side, you get USB Type C, Thunderbolt 4 ports, an SD card slot, a 3.5 mm USB jack, and an HDMI 2.1 slot as well. And apart from work, I also consume a lot of content on this laptop, and in that area, this laptop truly shines. But with a caveat. You see you get this amazing 1600p OLED display which is super bright and it is perfect for both content consumption as well as creation and especially while watching HDR content you'll feel that the screen portrays the colors and the skin tones very well another thing which i really liked is that you can configure display and color profiles in the my asus app so if you are a creative professional the VivoBook S15 OLED has you covered and even though this display is glossy you won't see much reflections on it this makes it really good for working in office and outdoor conditions as well moreover it also has really great viewing angles so you and your friend can easily share one screen and enjoy watching content however and here comes the caveat part the speakers are just not good they don't have a good sound stage the sound itself lacks bass and in the end you have speakers that are loud and clear but they are not suitable if you want to enjoy music now in terms of battery life this is an impressive machine first off it has a 75 watt hour battery and that gives it a battery backup of around 7 hours and 9 minutes when the performance is set to high and refresh rate is set to maximum and under balanced power condition and standard refresh rate the battery power extends to 9 hours now it is not as good as battery life as you would find in some of the 14 inch core ultra laptops that i tested but it is not too bad either 
Lastly, when it comes to performance though, this laptop won't disappoint. First off, in Cinemans R23, not only does this laptop score high points in both multi-core and single-core tests, it also loses minimal performance in throttle tests. Moreover, in GPU benchmarks like 3D Mark's Time Spy and Firestrike, the Core Ultra 7 in VivoBook S15 OLED performs much better than the ones found in other 14-inch laptops. This also translates to awesome real-world GPU performance in games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, GTA 5, and Gears 5, all of whom offer playable FPS in 1080p low settings. However, I really think that a dedicated GPU should have been given here at least as an option. Now, I would credit this slight bump in performance to the dual 45 watt fans this laptop comes with. Under normal usage, you won't even hear them at all, but the moment you do something intensive, they will start spinning at full speed. Plus, you can always configure fan speed and performance mode accordingly in the My Asus app. Now, the SSD on this thing offers PCIe Gen 4 speeds, which is not the fastest, but respectably fast. But the LPDDR5X RAM, read, write, and copy speeds are easily comparable to its much premium 14-inch counterparts. And moreover, the CPU power package draw is also consistent across the board, which indicates good sustained performance. So to summarize, the kind of performance you are getting is good for multitasking, creative workloads, media consumption, and even a bit of light gaming. With that said, should you consider the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED as your next thin and light laptop? Yes, absolutely. This well-built laptop offers great performance, good battery life, and an amazing display and high portability as well. And for a price of Rs. 1,11,000, I would say it is a great all-rounder for all your work and productivity needs. It will not at all disappoint you with its performance. Just remember that the speakers are not really great and the RAM is unupgradable. And if you like this video, then also remember to like the video and comment down below if you found this useful. My name is Yatnesh Dubey and I will see you guys next time.